Hello traders. So as a trader, you must have an edge that tell you when to trade and when not to trade. If your tr strategy did not tell you to trade and not to trade at a particular time, that means you are doing a lot wrong. You understand? So once I've already get that on a boom, once I've already spot a candle above this moving average, I'm not trading. You understand on 15 minute time frame so that is work of this moving average this moving average can only appear on the 15 minute time frame for this strategy so once i go to the 15 minute time frame and if i'm trading boom anytime i see the candle the moving average is below the candle it's going uptrend that means time not to trade for me but when i'm trading crash anytime i see the candle is above the market that means i'm not trading for that moment that is the rules of this strategy you understand so but anytime i see candle above this moving average that i can see it clearly you know now the moving average is in between the market which is also not to trade but if i can see the market close above the moving average then i will go to one minute time frame once I get to one minute time frame, what am I looking for? I'll be looking for when the first EMA and the ADX crosses each other at the offer sold region of the um, RSI. You understand? So you can see 20, 20 to 10, which is the offer sold, and 80 to 90, which is the um, offer bought. So once the first EMA, which is the um, blue line crosses the ADX um, signal, which is the a a ADX um, negative uh, deviation. So I'm going to show you the settings. So the red line is the ADX negative deviation, while the blue line is the fast EMA that is moving up with one period. You understand? So once I see the crossing at this level, and I've already confirmed of so many time frame that the candle is above the moving average, then I'm good to buy. You understand? I'm good to buy. That is the rule of the strategy. I'm good to buy. But if I'm trading boom, once I already confirmed of 15 minutes time frame that the candle is below the moving average, that means I want to trade. Then I go to one minute time frame, then I'll be waiting for the fast and the slow EMA to cross at the 80 to 90 level you understand once i see the crossing i enter for sell immediately that is the rule of the game so let me show you the settings the average on 15 minute time frame is period taxi shift to zero method simple so style any style and any color of your choice so then under the time frame you pick only 15 minute time frame you understand that is the only place where this moving average is working so that is where you need to con confirm the general trend. You understand? We use that to confirm the general trend so that we won't go against the general trend. After you have done that, then you come back to the indicator window. Then you will see you will add average directional movement in this, which is the ADX. So what are you doing at this ADX? Everything is default setting. We are only using the style and the positive um division which is here and here you will use the background color of your chart if you are using that black background choose black color if you are using white background like mine choose white then that is all then click on done after that so the last one is the moving average no we have rsi sorry so the rsi2 is default settings so the only thing you need to change is changing this color to the background chart background color of your um the color of the background of your chart so then come to the level Put it in 19, 10, 10, 20. That is the level we are using. Then click on done. The last one is period one of moving average. The method is simple. Apply to close. So that is all. So if you are, if you are, if you add it correctly, you should be able to see this on your chart. And then if you go to the three minute time frame, then you should see this on your chart as well. So the condition is you only trade boom when this moving average is above the candle. You understand you only trade boom when the moving average is above the candle and you only trade crash when the moving average is below the candle on 15 minute time frame so once the moving average is below the candle and you see the candle above the moving average that's when you buy on a crash and you sell when it's below that is the condition of the um strategy so 
you can back test this on your own i will show you trade and always trade responsible